Hello? Hello? It's about time we hit the road, passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. Huh. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people. Three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Morning. You're very punctual. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. Passengers! The work navigation meeting has officially begun! Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. Hmm. Hmm. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster, they were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a Corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A mania.
demoniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herda doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? The Sienjo Law Foo? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Lions. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. Hey, thanks for the invite. I'm so... So, you guys travel across the galaxy and journey through space like this? Huh? <laughs> Not like you to be modest. I've yet to experience it myself. But no one in their right mind would turn down a chance to journey through space. Boarding the Express is just one small step. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to travel the depths of the universe. After all, I did promise Branya and Nat that I'd continue to protect the Underworld and help rebuild Bellabok. Still, I bet there's still a chance for kids like Hook and Clara, right? 
Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to represent Bellabog as it returns to the arms of the universe. doing here? <laughs> I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Three against two. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hong, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case, Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now, but make sure you take good care of the two of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one! Whoa! 
that's a Xianzhou ship. It looks even bigger than Eurelo 6. For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Xianzhou territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lawful Skyport. Starskip Ven. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Xianzhou. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Wait, transfer. Please await transfer. Please wait, transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, oh, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Xianzhou La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. Yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider and a lot to doubt, but the most important part of this expedition is... Precisely. The Stellaron Hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Let's go. Oh, uh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. 
Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. That's Mr. Yang. This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters. Or giving yourself a compliment. <laughs> Do you admit this crime? Don't murder 
of the tech. Execute the Mara Struck! Every petal in life's go all will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Welcome, customers. Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down. I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Tingyun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for poor transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun, to help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now, I'll lead the way. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Oh, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck.
Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? I knew it! This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking Existence is unity. <laughs> Could fight. There's more to life. Eternal. Welcome, customers. It's time. to raise your spirits! <laughs> Every petal in life's garden, all will be swept away by the wind. By the order of the Ten Lords, execute the Marastruck! True Marvel. Decorative designs wouldn't go amiss. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion. I suppose. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. You can't run. Yeah. Tough luck running into this. We may 
make a pretty good team. <laughs> cool it! Surrendered. my taste.
Get ready, and watch your backs. Leave it to me! So... Eternal. We're in trouble now! All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> There's more to life. <laughs> Try that again. Welcome, customers. Of the Ten Lords. Execute the Mara Struck! You can't hurt me. No one missed the Mara Struck. A miracle. Surrendered. until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. Allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh! 
Oh, Pammy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. <sighs> I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. It'll be all right. We're not trying to stand in her way. We have nothing to hide from her. <laughs> we didn't have anything to hide in Bellabog either. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Xianzhou leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? No, the Xianzhou Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong, I just know it. Good idea. We can be his cheerleaders in the background. Let's not do that. Don't worry, we'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Oh, 
you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Yes, madam. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. I can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. The Xianzhou Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Xianzhou Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. What say you in your defense? You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Don't be too harsh, Yukon. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. General Jing Yuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Law Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. Ah, the Astral Express. 
I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you? My astral guess. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> if you are able to capture this Stellaron hunter, the Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Hmm. Ah, that's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Yes. 
The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, You'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jing Yuan, did you... let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. <laughs> I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Xinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. But her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xian Zhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide, and there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. 
That boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Company. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Not at all, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Here we are. I feel sleepy already. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. you go back yourself <clears throat> seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful I guess we should help ourselves right mr. Yang we should focus on our objective first seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. 
Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, Get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellavon Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention... 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> what exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Do you know him? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. But... Is he... connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Kids. 
send the message out. The network is down, but some functions still work. Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness. Too late to repent. Fighting is me. I've no interest in here. Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember of the Law Fu. Stay where you are! I can handle this! Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals! Life and death. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Take this. Surprise, Phoenix. You're hurt. It's okay. Phew. This one's strong, all right. I've no interest in. Want to see what I can do? Dodge this! Don't your hands hurt? A little too much. With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Move carefully. The truth of life in death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Take this! Surprise, Phoenix! You! Eternal the dead. dead return! Okay? Good. I'm Su Shang of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. Well, I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. It's a good thing I joined the fray. I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I, uh, I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. Hey, you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. 
No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskiff Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? You already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something. Locha! Is that right? <laughs> I remember it. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushong will guarantee your safety. Oh, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Message not sent? Why not? Long-range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. Open, the Petri Core Inn had another name. Oh, you've arrived. No, no, only an extra couple of hours. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. <sighs> so we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Ah, well, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Welcomes you while a drizzle douses dust. 